So, it's Science Steve here with... Lauren. Lauren's Hi. here and we're going to do a dissection of a heart. Now, Lauren, this heart has come from a lamb. Yep. So, we got it from, well not from the butchers, we, we actually got it from the abattoir, which is where they prepare, um, prepare meat. So, it's food grade, but of course we're not going to eat it. Alright, so, this is actually the front of the heart. Do people eat hearts? Well, yeah, you can. It's, right, anyway, so this is actually the front of the heart. So when we describe a heart, it's as if it's looking at us. Okay, so we actually say that the left-hand side of the heart is over here, because remember, it's as if this heart is looking at us. So this is the left-hand side, and this is the right-hand side. And we know it's the, the, the front of the heart because we've got this running through here. And this is called the coronary artery, the coronary sulcus. Okay, now coronary is related to the heart. Mm -hmm. Now the coronary artery, this is the artery that actually supplies blood to the heart muscle. Because the heart's a muscle, so it needs blood to be able to be pumping all the time. So, what I want you to see is that the heart has all of the vessels that go in and out of it at the top. Now what we can do is we can sort of trace around how the blood goes through the heart by looking at these vessels. Can you see there's two vessels that are whiter in colour and two uh, and, and they're actually a bit smaller and the other two are really quite large. So show me where the smaller ones are. Here, here. Okay so they're arteries arteries have blood going away from the heart and so they've got really thick walls because the heart's pumping and the the, the blood's in high pressure mm. whereas these ones are for veins okay veins are larger and they don't have those thick walls okay so they're for the blood going back to the heart so what the heart's job is is it takes blood back from the body it pumps it into the lungs and then takes it back from the lungs and pumps it around the body. Okay, and the whole point is to push oxygen uh, and other nutrients around the body. Okay, so let's see if we can work out which way it goes. So, firstly, we've got to get all of the blood back from the body. Uh, and it goes through the biggest vein in the body called the vena cava. Can you throw me a blue straw? So we use blue because blue is the colour that we use for deoxygenated. What do you think deoxygenated means? Um, it has no oxygen. Correct. Less oxygen in it because it's come back from the body. After all, the greedy cells in the body have taken the, the, the oxygen. Okay, so and then it goes through into this vessel here, which is called... So it goes through the vena cava into the top part of the right side of the heart, the right atrium. Now... So it goes in there, and then the right atrium squeezes, and it goes down to the right ventricle, which is down here. After that, it gets pumped through into the lungs. Okay, so we're still going to use another blue one, but we're going to, it's going to be for an artery. Now, we have to try and work out which one of these arteries is... I think it's pretty sure it's this one here, and I can just put my hand into feel. Okay, yes, it is. So, put, so this is where... This is the pulmonary, it's called pulmonary artery that pumps the blood up through into the lungs. Okay, so it's still blue because it's still the deoxygenated blood. Can I have a red straw? Okay, now the red straw is because the blood needs to go back from the lungs. When it's, when it's blood going back to the heart, does it go through arteries or veins? Um, veins. Veins, so this one here is the pulmonary vein. Finally, so it goes into the left hand side of the lung, uh, left hand side of the heart, and it gets pumped from here through the biggest artery of the body, all the way through the body, and it's through this thing here, biggest yeah. artery in the body called the aorta. It does, it has oxygen, and it's delivering the oxygen all the way through to the body. Alrighty, so here we go. So see this line here, yep. that artery that I talked about, the coronary artery. Well, we're going to go on this side of it. We want to try and open up the right hand side of the heart first. Okay. So see how I'm just doing small 
incisions. What do you think this white stuff is? Um, fat? It is, it's fat, exactly right. And now we want to try and cut away from our body. Do human hearts have fat? Yeah. Okay, so now let's open this up. Mm. Now, so remember how we had this vessel in here and we said that that was, that was, that was taking the, the, um, the blood up to the lungs. So this is the pulmonary artery. Mm. Now what we're going to do is open up the left hand side of the heart now. Okay, so I'm going to do the same. Do you want to do this cut or do you want me to? Um, can you? Sure, okay. So this time we're going to be on the other side of that coronary sinus. Let me just open this one up. Now, what I want you to absolutely There's notice. Blood on this one. Well, let's just open him up. Oh, is that like okay. A vein? Now, so let's compare something here. Compare the thickness of that mm -hmm. to the thickness of that. Which one is thicker? Um, the left. Side. The left side. The left ventricle is much thicker because it has to push the blood all around the body. Wow. Whereas the right side only has to push the blood to the heart, to the lungs. Okay, so that's much, much thicker. See how it, it's muscle. The heart is a muscle. You can see now these are, um, well, we can see our red, um, our red straw showing us where the vessels were. And these little strings here, these little strings here join onto the valve. So we might actually be able to just to turn this over and see this valve. Okay, so, oh, that's wonderful. Can we see that? Okay, so um, I've opened the heart up and we're looking up through the ventricle. And I want you to see this um, tissue here. Can you see that? It looks like a parachute. Can you see the parachute? Body. Okay, so here is the valve. And the valve closes, or it opens to allow the blood into the ventricle, and it closes to, um, to stop the blood from going back into the atrium. So there you go. All right, hopefully um, that's come through well on the video.